presence I feel as I walk through these halls, looking and touching these massive stone walls, walls that are smooth and cold to the touch, walls of lost history of killings and such. In the dim light, a specter I feel, walking, stalking, oh yes, it is real. For this is a place where dead men are kept, a place where I, as their keeper, once crept, turning my head as repentant men wept. So look as you will as you pass through this space, for it is the tomb of our lost human race. Glance in a mirror as through life you race, so the specter I saw won't surprise you someplace, as the specter you see may be your own face. place doesn't need any props, this place doesn't need any embellishment, this place doesn't need uh, anything. This place, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a living, breathing thing. Uh, this place is alive. Well, it would be, uh, this is a maximum security facility, so it would have been, you know, uh, murder, manslaughter, rape. Uh, you know, kidnapping, you know, stuff like that. The gas chamber uh, was, was uh, it started about 1935. Uh, the first execution uh, was in 1937. Uh, the last one was in 1989. Um, if you get to look at, it, at the guys uh, um, that uh, have been executed in here, uh, there's uh, long periods in between some of the executions. That's because the administrations would come in and they would do away with capital punishment. Um, and well, one example is uh, um, in 1907, we had a, a group of inmates uh, get a hold of some dynamite and nitroglycerin. They blew the front door off of Housing One, which at that time was the entrance to the prison, and they escaped. Um, one of them was uh, one of the inmates was uh, shot and killed by a Jefferson City police officer. So that left three, and uh, the three were hung uh, down here where the uh, Jefferson City Police Department is right now and 20,000 people showed up. But uh, it, bringing it in here, it's in a concealed environment where you can keep the people. And when the executions are happening, you can be very you know, secure about it and not have a, you know, a bunch of people coming up, and, you know, or safer. In 1954, you had the worst riot in United States prison history. Uh, what was going on was, uh, Conditions in this place was just uh, it was, it was, it was terrible. Uh, the, uh, the overcrowding, uh, the food, the medical, the violence, uh, you know, just the filth, just the, uh, it was just, you know, it was just a horrible, horrible place. And uh, when you have a group of people that's uh, tired, sick and tired, fed up, and have absolutely nothing to lose, you know, they finally get to a point it's where it's like, you know, we gotta make a, gotta do something to get some attention. So. Uh, you know, they, they uh, was tired of conditions and it started in a housing called E Hall and they overpowered the officers and uh, they got the keys and they stormed five house and then they headed up this way and they were gonna storm this area in here and there was some staff members on top of the uh, the corridor right there with shotguns and you know, the inmates were like, well, you can't get us all. And they're like, yeah, but we'll get the guys up front. And uh, they diverted down and then off the side of uh, 3B, and there was a three-story dining room. That was one of the first places they parked. And then they you know, started burning uh, industries and other, other buildings like that. And uh, I mean, it was just major, major fires going on here. And uh, the people from Jefferson City, seeing, you know, seeing their prison was on fire, so they got their, their weapons, and they come up here and stood around the prison to help protect the town. And, um, you know, at the highway patrol, we're all called out. When every highway patrol in the state of Missouri came here, and then the next day, uh, Missouri National Guard showed up with uh, 2,000 troops, and then they ended up, you know, putting the riot down, and, and uh, four inmates were, were killed. So. one of the coolest places I've ever been in my life. Uh, the history is absolutely amazing. A lot of times people um, 
take stuff for granted that other places in the world doesn't have anything like this. It's amazing to hear somebody else's point of view or what, you know, they think is, is amazing.